Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the mansion. This is still Luigi's Mansion, and I'm still doing this game. What I'm doing... Is I'm going to do a little something extra before we actually start the game. And what I'm going to do is just let it run a bit. And from what I've been told by Sheena. She gave me a little message on, on my Skype and she told me if I were to leave this on to the controls to where, where my control options are and all that and just let it play for a bit the music will change. I think it only slowed down just a bit. It did slow down for a bit. I heard that. I think but I think it's time for us to go back to the mansion and last time I remember we took on Neville and Lydia or as I like to call them the haunted thornberries <laughs> and then there's the baby whose name is Chauncey the one I actually died to so let's see I see. I they kind of reverse. So like down is it's like down is I mean up is down and down is up. thing you can do and I haven't shown this all There are some doors you can actually tell are fake. Some you can't tell they're fake. Mm-hmm. 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 
back to where I gotta and back to where I had to do this again. So we're back here with Lydia. And as I showed in the last video, how you have to take care of very simple. You had to push this back like so. She'll feel a draft. Now for those kind of goals, what you have to do is you have to use your GBA like so. Target her. And with Neville, the only way to get him is, well, wait for him to... Wait for him to yawn. And of course, let's go get her. I'm doing a lot better than the first time. Oh yeah, that's so much better than the first time. Yeah, let's... Yeah, that is so much better. Okay, so... We got the key to that room. I mean, if you're really good... I mean, if you're really good, like, well, what I'm just showing them. I'm not that good, but, I, you know, my skills are slowly coming back to me. There's little Chauncey. So before I do anything else, I'm saving. And believe it or not, we're heading to our first boss in the game. <sighs> that 
that's important. Now. It's kind of like so. Now one thing we're going now one thing I've noticed is this ball. And the one thing that this baby will say Search. I see Rocky Horsey. I want to get that ball right in position where I can really, where I can really use it. So what we have to do is get that to rock. So he's gonna do a little bit of splatter house. Get a little health back from from the teddies. I told you about You have to get the ball I can actually do this where I can get myself in trying to get some distance
There we go. Hit him once. Oh, you can't hit me! I can't do anything bad with you! I hate that ass! I want to be bigger than me! No, no, no! no. Small! That goes better! Small! It's a tiny baby! Oh, oh, yeah, this, this ain't good. This ain't good. But this is our first boss battle. Bad baby! See what I can remember from this boss battle. Well, aside from moving the hell out of the way of these um, rocking horses. Bitch. Mm. You're a bad baby. Bad, bad, bad. That's what you have to do. Wait for him to throw his balls. And of course, just move out the way. All the way to rocking horses. And repeat the process. And get your lawyers over here. You're speak your lawyers. Come here. Come here, you little son of a bitch. No! No! One, one thing I really do not like are spoiled rotten brats. And oh boy, are you getting a spanking! Come here! Uh-uh! Nope! You are getting spent. And thus, that baby got spanked. Probably the best spanking of his life, but I spanked him. Anyway. And get the master key. that long battle, don't you? 
Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss, a boss ghost, your Poltergeist 2000 gets pretty much full to bursting. Oh, I guess you showed that boss who's boss goes his boss. And just like in Ghostbuster fashion, you have to clean your trap. Good job, Luigi. You all made it back in one piece. Okay, that down there, this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the ghost portrait portraitizer. This machine lets us turn the ghost you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse too. Now the use it you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that pull the cost 2000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. With those three ghosts we caught. The ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms. A pistol, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. So there goes Chauncey. Neville and Lydia. Mm. Uh, well, we managed to turn those girls back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. So I've caught Neville, Lydia, and Chauncey. A freaky family. How's that Scooby Doo kind of feel to it, doesn't it? With that music. Oh, oh, that's a nice. Oh, that's some nice scratch. Oh God, that's some nice scratch. Four point three mil. Ooh. 4.3 mil in gold. Damn. Well, yes, I'd like to save. Damn right. And the thing about the gold is that, well, it plays a ranking part in the ending. Depending on how much gold you have will net you whatever kind of ending you end up with. So, I'm just gonna aim for probably some kind of ending. You know, something that's, you know, decent, you know. Not the best ending, but some kind of ending, you know. The best I can, uh, my personal best, you know. That, that's what I'm going for. I'm not going for the best, but my personal best. Because, like I said, I'm playing this game through muscle memory because I have this game. And, well. Ah, uh, yes. I'm going back to the mansion. But first, before we do that, let's check out the gallery. So, as you can see... Number four is, yeah, that's Chauncey.
Number two is Lydia. And number one is mm -hmm. Neville. So I think now is a good time to actually stop here because, yes, as far as I know, this game is relatively short, so I'm going to make parts long enough to for you guys to enjoy for your own perusal. So in the next part, we're actually going to deal with an interesting side quest that will take us most of the household to deal with. So let's go back to so let's go back to the mansion like so where I can stop and save. As you can see, every time you've cleared a floor, your health goes back to full, which is a nifty thing in itself. So, like I said, I'm going to save. And when we come back, we're going to investigate the second the second floor. Yes, we're going to investigate the second floor and deal with a even bigger threat or the main threat of this whole mansion. What that is, find out in the next exciting episode of Luigi's Mansion. Stay tuned for the next part.